This is an unboxing of a Sky T2 uh, Altazimut mount. Sky T2. So let's open and see what is it. Okay. Oh, that's nice. This is a upgraded version, which has the ADN two screw one. If you use the U1 screw one, I used in the Atlas, uh, sorry, Sabre, uh, um, Alter Sabre one mount. It had one screw, and the refractor just a slide from here and fell. I was lucky that it fell uh, head first at just the dual shield protected the lens and everything so this is a good product you can see that look slow motion control. this is really this is the best thing you can get uh, if you don't want to go for the more expensive maps lovely let me just see what we have here okay we have one uh, counterweight uh, bar Contraweight shaft and one ADM uh, single uh, screw one. These are good only for light refractors or light telescopes. If you want to use a heavy telescope, the one that I used was the uh, Skywatch ED uh, DS Pro 120. That's around five five inch telescope, and that's heavy for this mount. So it's good to use this. Uh, Two screw one which holds it really firm. And uh, yeah, let's see if there's anything else. No, it's counterweight shaft. This is the mount. Uh, uh, nothing else. Okay, and I'm going to now install it. So this is the I should not call it a sky watch at this one. This is a OVL Sky T, but this is distributed in the UK through the OVL, which is the uh, representative of this sky watch. So it looks quite strong and sturdy, better than the Atlas Sabre. So let's go and see if I can install it. Okay, this is the Sky T2. Uh, I have used the counterweight from the um, Celestron Omni XLT CG4 mount, which is really good. It's equal to EQ2, EQ5 uh, in the Skywatcher. And I'm using the pier, the column to add the height to this so it can hold the refractor at a good height. It's, uh, it looks very sturdy. You can turn it around by using this and up and down. Using this, and uh, I've turned this up so I can actually access it very easily and tighten it up. It was originally down, so this screw should be on the high because there are. They are not load bear. these ones are load bearing, they should be firm on this. These ones come on top of it and tighten up. Uh, let me bring a telescope and see how it will look on that. Okay, as you can see, this is a Skywatcher ED120 DS Pro Apochromatic Telescope. It's a 5 inch telescope. It has a shot glass, which is a famous uh, brand of the glass. That is the name of the company also builds that glass and uh, is uh, practically coma free uh, chromatic aberration free sorry and uh, that's the way it looks now it is a beautiful combination uh, even the color matches you know black white and this is uh, called diamond sprinkle on it it has and everything matches. Celestron and the Sky Watch are practically the same company. They're all Sinta, Chinese uh, company, which now builds beautiful telescopes, including China builds the telescopes like Lyra's, the most amazing coma-free, uh, uh, 
chromatic aberration field refractor I've seen. A sharp the planet Jupiter with that is almost as if is 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 like a, a Dobsonian Newtonian telescope, probably better. And this also can take that. Um, on this one, probably I will put a small refractor if I want, or a camera I can put if I want. And you can see, I can move it up and down. Beautiful, tell us.